Hey, did you know there's a chance life on Earth might end due to being absorbed by a bubble of destruction traveling at the speed of light? Of course, as you can see in the title, I'm talking about vacuum decay. But what is vacuum decay? Well, first we need to know a bit about quantum fields. Quantum fields are kind of the sections that make up reality in the small scales in which all of the different types of particles reside. They have a base energy, or what's called a zero-point energy, and they also have peaks, which manifest as particles. Now, another idea that you need to understand is that stuff tends to get to a more stable state. Often, this means a state of lower energy. This is actually the basic mechanism behind thermodynamics and entropy and everything you know. But wait, something's off here. Why don't the fields just lose their zero-point energy to become less energetic and more stable? Well, this is where the Heisenberg uncertainty principle starts tormenting us again. It's comprised of various types, but one of them is the time-energy uncertainty principle, which says that the more certainty a measurement has about time, the less certain you can be about energy, and vice versa. There's always some uncertainty. So, due to this uncertainty in energy, there's always some level of energy present at any point of the field. Nonetheless, this doesn't mean that quantum fields cannot go to a lower energy state. If you watch my video on eternal inflation, you know that quantum fields can enter a metastable state, a level of energy in which the field can reside in the long term, but which isn't really the most stable state, also called a false vacuum. But how can this happen? If you don't want to watch that video, here's the representation I made. The height of this ball would represent the energy level of the field. If the ball falls towards this side, it ends up in this valley and can't fall anymore, even though there's a lower point on the other side. Okay, now that all of that's sorted out, let's get to vacuum decay. Imagine one of the fields we knew was in a made a stable state. Well, no big deal, it's just stuck there, right? Well, due to the random nature of the quantum world, things can actually teleport or quantum tunnel from one point to another. If you want to know why, there's a full explanation in my quantum mechanics video. And this includes fields. Given enough time, a made a stable quantum field can literally teleport to that lower energy state. Okay, so if this were to happen, what would be the consequences? Well, first you need to understand that such quantum tunneling would happen at a specific point of the field, not everywhere at once. However, as adjacent portions of the field discovered that lower energy state, they would also collapse into it. As you can imagine, this would create an expanding bubble. Specifically, a bubble that would expand at the speed of light. And what would happen inside that bubble? Well, let's say that the Higgs field was in such a state, and a point happened to undergo vacuum decay. As the Higgs field is the main contributor to the mass of everything, all the stuff in that bubble would suddenly lose a lot of mass. This would mean that chemistry as we know it could no longer exist in there, and therefore, if one of those bubbles caught us in its way, it would be game over for life. In fact, it has been theorized that the Higgs field might actually be in a false vacuum state, and this hypothesis has been reinforced by measurements over the years. Other fields are unlikely to be metastable, although, again, its own inflation features a vacuum decay which ironically created our universe. So, should you worry? Well, let's take a look at the statistics. Current estimates calculate that in a reasonable fraction of the observable universe, which would contain an unthinkable number of galaxies, vacuum decay is expected to happen after a time much longer than the current age of the universe. Also, if the bubble started far away enough, the universe would expand too quickly for it to reach us. So, yeah, it's not likely you'll be seeing one of these bubbles anytime soon. Besides, if it did reach us as it travels at the speed of light, no possible signal from it, no matter its speed, would be able to reach us before the bubble did. One second you're taking a walk in the park, and 42 milliseconds later, the Earth is gone. So, it would be an unexpected and painless death, and Skibbity Toilet would finally disappear from existence. Oh, well, I guess not. So, now you know another funny way everything and everyone you know could end. If you enjoyed, please like the video, and please help me reach 500 subscribers so I can get money to not buy a false vacuum disruptor anyway, bye!